I'm going to go ahead and do the YouTube random comment picker. I just entered the URL. So now all I have to do is hit the start button right here. And start. Start. Oh, I, did, I have to click this first. Just kidding. You'd think that I did this zero times before and it's the third time. Start. Wanna na? Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Elizabeth Dempster. Yay. So I'm going to go ahead and send this out to you within the next two days. Whoa, why does it look like it's shaking? You're going to be getting this Milani Make It Dewy Setting Spray as well as this sponge applicator. I just did my makeup right now. I'm going to continue this video as kind of a get ready with me using these two things. Obviously, my own. These are unopened just for you. So if you go ahead and email me, here's my email right here. And then you can send me your address that way so that I can get this out to you. So congratulations. Thanks for subscribing. Thanks for hanging out and leaving comments. That's awesome. So I'm going to be doing another giveaway soon, a subscribers only. And if you want to hang around right now, if you haven't clicked subscribe yet, do it and click that notifications button so that that way when I do another giveaway, you'll know. I have a lot of cool stuff to give away. Congrats to the winner. I feel like we should do a little, I'm going to do a little shmake and talk. <laughs> that means do some makeup and girl chat. You don't have to be a girl to listen. Girl chat just means I'm a girl. These things are awesome, by the way. They're like Velcro things that you put in like this. And like they take your hair, but they don't like put a dent in it. Hmm. Goodbye hair that I didn't want in my face right now. So I'm also going to go ahead and use those two products that somebody just won. I'm going to do my makeup before I do the YouTube random comment selector. So I don't know 100% who won right now, but congratulations. So I am going to use the spray and a beauty blender or the sponge applicator that somebody just won. I'm doing this before primer, which I'm not sure why I'm doing that. Probably because I'm obsessed with putting things under my eye. I like this one, the um, LA Colors Conceal Correct ones. I like them a lot because they harden and they're not m made with oil. They're not oil based. This is a little bit yellowy. I think the one that I actually want to choose is over there and. I'm lazy, so we're using this one. Neutrogena Shine Control. I'm just going to put this on and then um, I'm actually going to use foundation. Can you believe it? I'm going to take some pictures and foundation looks better on film. Now that I just rubbed around all the thing that I just put there. So I think it's still there. I feel like my lights are weird. My lights weird? I like changed my setup around a little bit and I like kind of like it. I could, I could see myself in too many places now. I feel like I'm like like a mirror back there. There's one right here. And there's like two right there. And then I can see myself talking to you in like camera. I've been making so much makeup videos lately that I did my own makeup just regular the other day and was like, put my lipstick on and then was like, and like held it out to nothing. Like I was just looking in a mirror. I was like alone. I wasn't filming. Just like out of habit. I was like, 
<laughs> to show up in someone. I don't know. And then I was like, okay, good job. Trying to think about what kind of eyeshadow I want because of this sweater. It's like a vintage style. Everyone pray for that button. Oh, weird, funny story about this sweater. I actually like met some girl at a bar when I used to have um, a social life. Not anymore. And she was like obsessed with me and I was like, I like your sweater. And she literally like took it off and gave it to me. And then she got my phone number and then the next day was like, I wish I didn't give you my sweater. And I was like, you snooze, you lose. <laughs> Poor thing. Poor thing. This is the um, butter bronzer positions formula. All right, I'm gonna throw throw out a little eyebrow real quick. Do I want to do that over? No, I'm gonna do foundation first. Build a good foundation first. I'm gonna use uh, Color Stay Full Coverage Matte 310 Warm Golden Foundation from Revlon. And I'm gonna go ahead and use. I'm going to use this thing that somebody just won. I'm going to wet it. See it grow? Ooh, fancy. And then I'm putting the foundation like right on it. This stuff is full coverage. So I'm just going to start and see where it takes me. I've used it tons of times. It doesn't even have a cap anymore. I just know that it actually is full coverage. When it says full coverage, it's not joking. This makeup's not joking with me. I like this. You lucky duck, whoever you are. I'm excited to find out. All right, a little more. You look like an elf or something. Get up there. BYS Contour Palette. I'm going to use this same beauty blender not adding any more water and just starting with a darker color. And then I'm going to take it more on like the little tip point of it. do my ears because they're showing me in this hairstyle. I'm going to turn it, add a little water 
I know there's still some, but it's not the end of the world to me. And then use this side that's a little less dirty. Use my fingernail because I just feel like whenever I try to use something else on my nose, it's just nose con contouring is like the vein of my existence. What's happening here? Oh, it's not great. There's something in my eye. I've got contour in my eye. <laughs> Sorry, I'm not talking much. I'm actually like thinking about these pictures later. I get nervous. I have social anxiety. Does anybody else have social anxiety? Lots of people, I think. I have like severe social anxiety. It's just weird that I work in <laughs> social media and model for a living the social media part makes sense to me actually because like i'm alone right now Yay, then I'm gonna use this new tart that I got in my Ipsy blush in the shade Quirky. How do you say that? Quirky? I can't even say it, and it is that. Ugh, I hate myself. Quirky? Quirky. I don't really want to do eyeshadow, so I think I'm just going to use the color that's in here that says cheek. I'm just going to use the cheeks and just kind of do this. <laughs> Nothing fancy. All over. I'm into that. Looks pretty as an eyeshadow, actually. Mm -hmm. Into the bottom. I do kind of like a little sloppy. I don't care because I am going to use a setting under the eyes so it'll take down some of the redness underneath because I know right now I kind of know now I just look like I have the flu <laughs> brows dark brown stay put brow color 
by Milani and this angled brush from Lexi 213. I didn't know that was a Lexi brush. I've done some weird things with this brush. I wish I didn't know I knew that. <laughs> I always draw up lines like upward in the beginning like this, like, like their hairs. I'm not doing a crazy thing today with eyebrows. I don't have time. One of like my ex's current girlfriends, now like ex of like four years ago, called me and was like, oh my God, stay away from him. And I was like, I don't know what you're talking about and you're a psychopath. And I hate when things like that happen and I'm just sitting there like, Like, I don't even like leftover meatloaf. We're gonna have leftover whole man. No. Why do you think I would? What do you think? Like, we broke up and then I changed my mind four years later? <laughs> Hard pass. L'Oreal Infallible Black Eyeliner. In the lash line a little bit. And I'm just going to take that eyebrow brush. I was just using to smudge it around in there. While I have this, I might as well just do this. I need to buy an eyeliner. Why is eyeliner so expensive? I feel like like I get it, makeup's expensive, but I feel like you have to buy an expensive one or else it's junk. It just doesn't seem like a lot of makeup for the money. Cause it's not like, have you ever found one that just like completely stays on? Reapply, reapply. Now I'm going to do mascara, that Revlon Ultra Volume in blackest black. I'm putting lashes, so I'm just going to run it through them. I can hear my watch ticking in my ear and it's making me feel like a moderately like insane. It. it was right where I thought it was. I just couldn't see it. This is the Kiss Strip Lash Adhesive Dry is Clear. I'm putting it directly here on my lash line and kind of like on the eyelashes too, on the back side of them. So when I put the eyelashes on, they like stick together too. I like that. You hear that noise? I was like, ah, what's wrong with me? <laughs> okay, 
So I'm just going to use these Bad Larry's that I buy on Amazon. Man, all. Man, sign. Outside. Then saving it. It's not super expensive, but it's not the cheapest thing in the world. For Pete's sake. This is one of the only products that I've ever bought in my entire life. But I actually enjoy the applicator that it comes with and would prefer to use this over other things. I like love this little thing. I don't, you're probably supposed to put your finger in there like that, but it's nice. It's soft. It's like perfect for this. And I just like it because of the edges and the corners like that. This stuff is life. The reason that I'm using it right now is because baby powder can have flashback. If you're getting your picture taken, you don't want to be using baby powder. I'm the queen of using baby powder as um, setting powder or baking powder, but I'm not going to use it if I know I'm getting photographed because of the flashback means it glows white. Like, have you ever taken a picture or like seen a picture of a girl and she's like all white? It's just because the flashback in that makeup was poor and when the flash went off it like made her look white or him or whatever. I don't see anything right these days. Now that I look sufficiently crazy, I'm going to let that sit before I brush it off. And I'm going to put a lip on. Should I plump them a little? Probably not because they'll go down by the time I get there. And then I'll just be annoyed by that. Okay, so I'm not going to plump them, but I am going to use my liquid cat suit in Give Me Mocha. <laughs> mocha, mocha, mocha. This is my fave, fave, fave. Illusion lip liner. Illusion might be the color? It's not saying. Don't really need a lip liner with these long wears. They're so bomb. I just kind of like it. Because later, to touch up my lips, I'll probably just use this instead of using more. And like having it all be building up. If you can add too much, it'll be weird. So. How gross my hands are. Tanner. I gotta go to you. I have a lotion that takes, it's like tan remover. Oh yeah. A matte lip gives me life. This stuff off my face while I'm thinking about it anyway, so.
I'm going to put on a little bit of highlight now. I hated this when I first got it and now I love it. So like goes to show you who I am as a person. I think I hated it because it was creamy kind of like it seemed like because it's like a stick but it's really like almost cream to powder and you don't need much of it and I just love it. It's infallible from L'Oreal uh, Galaxy Stick and I don't use the stick like like that on my face but I'll just put a little bit on my finger. See how fun that is? I feel like it like it's more fun than just regular schmegular but I don't use a lot of it. Nudie patootie. Now that these are dry and just um, puts a little bit in the middle and use my finger to blend it out. Boom shaboom. One more thing I just wanted to mention, if you have kids and they're into YouTube, I have a YouTuber that is monitored by his mother very closely, so it's very safe and he's fun, and this is him right here. If you or your kids wanted to check him out, click subscribe, be a, um, a support. That would be super nice and you would make someone very, very happy. I just wanted to say that I love you very much. To all my friends, and extra love to all my haters. Bye, guys. What am I missing in life? What is it? Something's missing in my life. <laughs> it's not lipstick, I can tell you that. That's not right how that makes a noise while I'm filming. That shouldn't happen. No, I'm not, I don't want a sexy Asian near me, by the way. I don't know why it always asks me that. Maybe that's what I'm missing. What could I throw at this? <laughs> what could I throw at my $3,000 laptop that I... Hmm. <laughs> I could throw a beauty blender. I think I'll make it. <laughs> we'll find out.